Hi there again. So welcome back to lesson two of module one of Oracle eBusiness Suite Apps GBA training. In this lesson, we are going to look at architecture of Oracle eBusiness Suite that is three tier architecture, client tier, application tier and database tier. But before that, let's look at the history of Oracle eBusiness Suite and what we have covered so far in this module. So we started the module in the previous lesson with covering what all topics or what all modules we are going to cover in this course. And I highlighted the modules that are around 14 modules in this course. And in the module one, that is this module, I said, these are the lessons we are going to cover. That is apps GBA task, history, architecture, and a lot more. So in the previous lesson, I explained what exactly Oracle eBusiness Suite mean and the roles and responsibilities of Oracle Apps GBA. Now, we, I also logged into Oracle eBusiness Suite and then showed you or displayed two type of applications, HTML based application, which was nothing but accessible over the browser. And second also, again, still accessible via browser, but it was opening an applet or a form that was coming from a Java enabled browser where browser inside the browser, there was a Java virtual machine or JVM was running an applet open. So these were the two type of applications within Oracle eBusiness Suite. Now let's start with the history where this Oracle eBusiness Suite, how it started. So Oracle was first or Oracle ERP, which is enterprise resource planning was first introduced in 1988. And initially there were only journal ledger was enabled or financial system was there and which was named as accounting system. And at that time it was only just journal ledger or GL. Then Oracle released various releases right from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They all from 1988 to 1992. Then after that release 10 came and 10.7 10 was, 10 was first normal character based forms, which was version 10.7. Then in 1998, first 11 was released, which was 11.0 and 11.1. .1. Then in 1999, the first major which I've started working was 11.03 version. And again, I looked at or I supported my initial days, an old customer of 11.03 and which I don't think you'll find rarely or hardly will find anyone still using 11.03. Then in 2000 May, Oracle released 11.51 or first release, which was marked as 11i or i for internet. Then 11.5.2.3.4.5 and 6, ranging all between 2000 to 2002. Then came 11.5.7, 8, 9, 10 and 11.5.10.2 is the terminal release of 11i. That's when 11i or Oracle eBusiness with 11i stands for internet. That stopped working or there was no more release after 11.5.10.2. Then started Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12 or 12 version started with R as release 12. So 12.0.0 .0 was introduced in 2007, then 12.01, 12.03, and since then 12.04, 5, 6. Again 12.0. Then started 12.1 and 12.1.2, 12.1.3. That was till 12.13. So 12.13 is the terminal release in version 12.1. There might be some patch sets like 12.1.3. patch set numbers, but 12.1.3 was terminal release for R 12.1. Then major breakthrough came in 12.2 where Oracle introduced Oracle Fusion middleware, specifically WebLogic server. So before that it was 10G application server that has Oracle's own application server. And in 12.2, Oracle introduced Oracle WebLogic server that Oracle acquired from company called BEA in year 2007. So Oracle had WebLogic as their application server since 2007. And that WebLogic server was introduced in version 12.2 as first in 2013. So since then, Oracle 12.2.1, 12.2.2 and current is 12.2.6. As of December 2017, the latest version is 12.2.6. 
our training is going to be focused on 12.2.5 and there's not much change between 12.2.5 and 12.2.6 from a DBA's point of view. It's more or less same. There are some added functionality, but more applicable to functional consultants or the functional modules. From an application DBA point of view, things are more or less same between 12.2.5 and 12.2.6. So our training is going to be focused on 12.2.5. So let's begin with architecture and concepts in 12.2. So this is where the real fun begins. So this is how architecture of Oracle eBusiness Suite. As you see in the diagram, right hand side, it's a three tier architecture. You have client tier on the extreme left here, and that's where you have browsers. Then you have application tier, which is the middle tier, also called as middle tier, application tier. And right hand side, you have the database tier. Now, this is where the end users are accessing. Application tier and database tier are logical convention or logical naming. Group of some applications or services as a database, as an application. Now these two can be on a different machine application tier and database tier or on the same machine. When I talk about machine is I mean the physical or virtual operating system machine. So three tier architecture client tier application tier also called as middle tier because it sits in middle between client and database and the database tier. So let's go a little bit deep dive into the architecture of Oracle eBusiness Suite. There are three tier architecture as I said extreme right is database tier and it's always Oracle database. You don't, you can't have other databases with Oracle eBusiness Suite. It will always be Oracle database only. So on 12.2. I think six, the latest version is 12C. We are going to work with 11G version of database. Maybe if you see on, once we refresh our activity guides, you might see 12C database, but as of December, 2016, you will be working on 12, 11G database with an option you can upgrade to 12C database. So database tier, then you have application tier in the middle and that's where you have business logic. So you have Oracle Fusion Middleware stack. What that Fusion Middleware is, again, we'll go deep dive into upcoming modules and lessons. So application tier runs on top of Oracle Fusion Middleware and you have web services on that, which is a listener if you remember in the previous lesson, I went into the URL 8011. So that was actually a web listener. Then there are form services. So in the previous list lesson, we opened a form. I said it's an applet which is running on client browser. So there are form services. Then you have Java application services. So in the URL, when we initially went, we saw forward slash OA underscore HTML and OA core. So these are Java application services where my Java code runs. So the application services on top of which my Java code runs. Then there is something concurrent processing. What these different services are, we'll go deep dive in a little bit later. So you have application tier in the middle and then you have client tier, which is a web, web browser. So simple three tier architecture. This is where users are. This is where my business logic sits and underlying technology stack sits through which I'm going to connect to the database. And there is a database tier. That's where the data sits. Some logic might be in the database tier, but slowly, idly your logic, business logic should be, oh, what happens if someone does something? How do my order process in an order management system? All that logic will be in the application tier. The actual data will be sitting in the database tier. Client will be accessing the data via this application tier or via the middle tier. So client will connect to the application tier and then application tier will then in turn connect to the database. So this is a simple three tier architecture. Again, watch it one more time. We'll go deep dive into these application tiers. Now within this application tier, as I said, application tier and database tier can be on the same machine or different machine. Now within application tier, all these services can be on the same server or different machines or different servers. So you can have a database server on one machine, Oracle, web services on the other machine, form services on the another machine, concurrent processing on the other machines, or you can combine all these in one, but these are logical collection of services. How you do that? 
We'll cover that in our installation module. How do you deploy them in a different machines? We'll, we are going to cover that on installation time. So this is Oracle eBusiness Suite 3T architecture. This is an another view of architecture where on again same three tier which is a database tier application tier and client tier database on right application or middle tier on the middle and client on the left so what do you have in database you can have a oracle database 11g or 12c we are talking about 12.2 so 12.2 11g version of oracle database or 12c version of database you can have a single node database or rack those who are not familiar with database terminology there is in database real application cluster or rack database and rack sit on something top of asm which is a storage layer for that and you have addition based redefinition which we are going to cover in our patching more which is to support online patching you patch the system while system is running and oracle ebusiness suite leverages addition based redefinition feature of database to support online patching which we'll cover in patching module then on the middle layer you have technology stack which you have weblogic server on which you have jsp and servlets running java server pages you have bc4j which is a business container for java and this is where business logic in java application run bc4j business container or business component for java then you have UIX, which is a user interface layer. Then you have BI Publisher, which is for reporting purpose. And you have Forms, which is we saw the form which we opened when we opened the uh, profile option setting. Then in front, you have a web listener, which is which will listen for any client request. So end user will always hit this web listener. There could be a load balancer in, in between the client and the web listener, but if you don't, the end user will directly hit the web listener and web listener will then contact to the weblogic server or these UIX or BI publisher or forms, which will in turn talk to the database using JDBC. How the JDBC connection, we'll see that in a minute. So on the application tier, now on the web tier, you have the browsers, which is a web browser or a tablet through which or a mobile device through which you will be accessing application. So just to recap database tier with single node database, or a rack database with ASM. And in both cases, you have addition based redefinition. On application tier, you have WebLogic server, BC4J, UIX forms. The application tier is making a connection to the database using either JDBC, Java database connectivity, or SQL net. Or, so this is application tier, the database connection. Client tier will make a connection to the application tier via web listener, which is HTTP or HTTPS. And your client can be a web browser or a tablet or a mobile device. This is another view of EBS R12.2 architecture. You have a database tier and on left hand side, what you see on red here, these are my one Oracle home or one technology stack, which is Oracle HTTP server, weblogic server. There is developer 1012. I'll explain that later. What the developer 1012, this is basically nothing but your forms, which we saw. Then you have Apple top, cop on top and instop. Again, don't worry. These are the file system. These are the top level directories for file system. We'll cover that after installation in file system. But for assume, so this is my middle tier and this is my database tier. Middle tier has some file system, which is instance top, common top, Apple top and developer binaries, weblogic server binaries and technology stack binaries. How these are, we'll look at again in detail. So this is another view of architecture. So now in the next lesson, we are going to focus or we'll go deep dive into this client tier or various different tiers, the client tier, the application tier, the database tier, and various different type of these services and what they do. So head on to the next lesson for detail or go deep dive into this three tier architecture and various different type of services. So I'll see you in lesson three of module one of Oracle eBusiness Suite Apps GBA training.